Figma is not that capable with blending, but today we're going to take a look how to make this really cool blending trick here in Figma. So first I'm going to go and select the circle and I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. And let's go to the fill and let's go and change this to gradient. And I'm going to change the linear to angular. I'm also going to bring this here and I'm going to go and start recoloring these. I'm just going to add some random colors and I'm also going to make the last one the same color as the first one. So I'm going to go with the same red and I'm going to press and hold alt, drag this handle to the right. And this way we have a new color, recolor it. I'm going to make it orange and I'm going to go here, type in 10% and repeat this step, press and hold alt, drag it. This is going to be like 20% and this is how you can set the distance in between uh, these specific handles. By the way, you also can overlap these colors if you want. For example, I'm going to create a new duplicate of this. I'm going to make this 50 and then make another color. And I'm also going to make this 50 and I'm going to go with this last blue and change up the color and check this out. But you can mess up with the numbers however you like. And I'm going to place it right here. And let's go and select the pen tool. And I'm going to go and make some waves. I will not make it perfect. It's going to be just for the reference. Now I'm going to go and select the gradient. And now we're going to go and blend these. So let's go to the actions. Click on plugin and widgets. And search for blend. And I'm going to go with this one. Click on it and click on run. And this is how it's going to look like. So first we're going to need to go to the select object to copy. Click on it and I'm going to go and select the gradient circle. And let's go and click on select ellipse. And next let's go to select blend path. Let's select the path and click on select vector path. So this is how it's going to look like. And now all you need to do is increase the number of the copies. So let's go here and I'm going to type in a thousand. Now this is going to slow down the app quite a bit. But I can increase it even more. A thousand and five hundred. And now you can see it's buttery smooth. And I'm also going to right click on it on group. And as you can see, every circle is on grouped right now. So I'm going to go and select everything, right click, and I'm going to group them. And pretty much this is how I blend in Figma. Thanks for watching.